This is Thomas Jefferson. Both he and the other patriots are angry over the treatment of the 13 American colonies by Great Britain, ruled by King George III. The poor treatment of the colonies inspired the American Revolution that was kicked off by the creation of the Declaration of Independence. The Declaration was a formal legal document listing the reasons why the colonies left British rule, ultimately declaring their sovereignty. Upon creation, tensions continued to escalate as Britain refused to accept the document, leading to the American Revolution. The first form of constitution enacted by the United States was known as the Articles of Confederation, which was adopted by the Continental Congress in 1777. The Articles of Confederation established the functions of a national government of the United States. However, the Articles of Confederation eventually failed due to the lack of central government and the increased focus on the individual states. Due to the failure of the Articles of Confederation, there became a need for a new constitution that fixed the past limitations. This resulted in the creation of the Constitutional Convention of 1787 that consisted of 55 delegates including James Madison, Thomas Jefferson, and more. At the convention, the plan for the new constitution was discussed. Three significant concepts that the Articles of Confederation lacked were added to the constitution. The first addition was to have a separation of powers. This was done to avoid limiting the concentration of power to only one branch. The separation of powers introduced three new branches of government, the executive, judicial, and legislative branch. Each branch had their own individual role in government. Another addition was to have checks and balances. So each branch of the government had some measure of influence over the other branches in order to keep them in check and to avoid one having too much power. The last addition was the concept of federalism, which is the division of governmental power between the nation and the state. Despite the new corrections to the Constitution, there were many who opposed the concepts expressed in the document, resulting in the debate over ratification. There were opposing viewpoints, the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists. The Federalists were supportive of the Constitution and were in favor of a strong national government. The Anti-Federalists were against the Constitution and were more supportive of a strong state government, like under the Articles of Confederation. In order to satisfy both sides, the Bill of Rights was created to appease the Anti-Federalists and guarantee the rights of the people. The Bill of Rights consisted of 10 amendments to the Constitution, based off of the core American values, like freedom and liberty. 